I'm going to show you how I set up continuous calibration for my Quest 3 and 5 FBT. If you don't already have FBT set up, I recommend watching my previous video on how to do that, link below. The gist of how this works is you buy another Vive 3.0 tracker and put it on your headset. That obviously costs money, so if you're wondering if it's worth it, my experience has been, in the word, relieving. Without it, anytime I took my headset off for a sec, like to refill my water, when I'd come back, my tracking would be all messed up and I'd have to go through and recalibrate everything. It's totally doable, but it takes time and it can be frustrating and I look ridiculous doing it. With continuous calibration, I get that time back to spend actually enjoying VR. Now this setup will only work for PC VR and the steps are designed to work with an already working FBT setup using a Valve Index Lighthouse system, which I in my previous video, though I put a link in the description for a 3D printed design that'll also work with the Quest 2 as well. Enough preamble, here's the actual steps I took. So first I bought the other Vive 3.0 tracker. Next I got a 3D printed mount for it. Now I don't own a 3D printer, so to get the mount printed, I paid a company here in Canada to make the part. They used filament that's environmentally friendly, and they even sent two of the parts in case one of them had a defect. And this mount leaves room to fit both the stock Quest 3 with its horrible straps that are like brain juicers squeezing your skull, and it still fit when I upgraded to the Bobo VR strap. The only real downside is that for a piece of plastic, it was pretty pricey at 40 USD. About half of that was for the shipping. Now, you could use double-sided adhesive. For me, I was worried that it might come flying off, so I just tanked the price point. I also bought a screw and nut from Home Depot for a few cents to hold it in place. Next, I opened up SteamVR and paired this new tracker up. Now, the space calibrator fork that I was previously using does not have continuous calibration. So I uninstalled that one and instead I installed High Blockers fork to replace it. This fork is actually the first result if you search Space Calibrator up on Steam. I then got into Virtual Desktop and then in my headset's Virtual Desktop, I launched Steam VR. I then turned off all trackers except the one mounted on the headset. That's the only one I left on. That way I know for sure that the tracker I selected is actually the one that's on the headset. So yeah, I selected my headset and the tracker and finally, I clicked on the glorious continuous calibration button. That should be about it. But to make sure everything continues to run smoothly, I made sure static calibration is turned on. And then I also disabled displaying the tracker that's on my head since it can sometimes get in the way of my vision if I have the menu open. And that's it. Now, whenever you come back from grabbing a glass of water or whatever, you'll see your tracking fix itself automagically. It's really cool, honestly, and I'm glad I got this set up. Okay. Bye-bye.